Let's then turn to item two on our agenda, uh, which is an update uh, from Bill McCarthy on the overarching program. Uh, we have a paper, and I'd like to invite Bill to introduce it. Thank you, Chairman. This is the regular update that the Board receives on the programme of work to uh, establish the Commissioning Board in full operational form by next April and to ensure that the whole commissioning system is, uh, is in place. There are three parts to the paper before you. The first is just to note some significant developments since we last met, and in that part I, I might just pick out the publication of the um, board's operating model for commissioning primary care services, which is, I think, a significant milestone uh, around our direct commissioning responsibilities. The second part of the paper updates members of the board on our business plan and the milestones that uh, we've achieved to date. And the third part is our board assurance framework. It brings together the strategic risks we've been discussing at each of our <coughs> board meetings so far and relates them to the critical success factors that the board set out in its business plan. Um, very happy to take any comments or to um, elaborate on any parts of the paper, but the board's asked to note it. Thank you. Let me ask colleagues if there are any questions or comments um, for Bill. This is an update paper and it's a, a summary of work in progress, some of which we will be uh, addressing under other heads this afternoon. Okay. Kieran. Um, clinical Senate, clinical networks. Um, I know there's been some work done, but are we likely to be hearing about size, number, constitution, remits imminently? Uh, we are. Clinical senates um, have been, I think a letter was sent out, Ian, last month. It was, and I think um, it confirmed the uh, geographies of the uh, 12 clinical senates um, that will uh, uh, take place um, going forward. And on clinical networks, that, that is imminent. Um, I would expect us to be in a position to share something within the next couple of weeks. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Could, could I just ask, on uh, Tim's appointment, just a little bit of clarification of the scope of the, the role National Director Patients and Information? What does that cover? Um, so I'm responsible for all uh, the board's activities in relation to public and patient participation for for information information strategy across the um, the work of the board and also for technology um, in a technology strategy in relation to the board's activities so it brings together traditionally roles which have been separated and those roles would be the roles responsible for technology for information and for public and patient engagement or participation into one into one role Right, thank you. Thank you, Tim.